is going on, guys? It is Scott and Kyle with the Never Hedge Podcast here with a very special guest, the godfather of time from the Cryptoc NFT. What is going on, GFT? How are you doing today? How are you guys doing? I'm, I'm doing well. Doing well. Just got back. We had uh, some of our team in Miami for NFT Basel and then a little bit of Art Basel and, and just got back. So uh, I'm excited to be on and appreciate you guys uh, uh, taking the time. Yeah, that must yeah, have been fun it, before in we get into uh, Miami. Yeah, before we get into anything else, what was the mood like on Saturday at Art Basel <laughs> with the, the infamous uh, crypto flash crash going on that morning? I will tell you, I left Saturday morning, <laughs> okay. so I, I just missed that, but um, I don't know if I would have noticed. I was I was uh, a little bit hungover on Saturday, I had to get back on a plane to, to, to see some friends here in, in Austin, Texas, but it was... Uh, it was an interesting scene all, all week in Miami. I, I can assure you that it was uh, a lot of who's who's and a lot of people that that uh, I, I didn't know, but found out pretty quickly that they're doing pretty well in the NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. So super excited about crypto. Is this? Is this? Go ahead, Scott. Yep. I was going to say, is this your first uh, NFT project that you that you've been working on? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's it's not. Um, we our, our team is a little bit of mix and match on, on what they've done, but for me personally, I actually have a, a different business that, that's focused on NFTs for, for universities and college athletes. I fully put pause, um, put that one on pause for the, the time being and, and for the foreseeable future right now. Um, but this is really my second project, and I, I, I should say it's my first collection. So what we're building in Cryptoc, it, both being a collection, a brand, and then a society is, is totally different than what I've done before, but there's so much utility in so many different ways that, that I've seen NFTs be used and where I see them going that um, I don't even you know consider these the same business at all, even though they are focused both on NFTs. Mm. So how did you get started in the, in the NFT business? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. And I think um, for me and our team, like I said, it, it's a little bit different, but I came from um, sales and then got into venture capital and, and private equity. So I worked in that space for five or six years, focused on uh, you know vertical software businesses, so sports and entertainment, um, and a number of different industries, and um, started to really see the utility of, of crypto and then into NFT. So I got into the crypto space uh, professionally uh, just a couple years ago, and then really fell in love with how much utility NFTs had and saw them uh, really growing on, on the vertical side. So NFTs getting into real estate, NFTs getting into healthcare, NFTs now for, for ticketing for universities and, and college athletes. And then I started looking into the metaverse and how this is kind of a new frontier on how we're going to wear watches, how we're going to wear, uh, you know, shoes, clothes, you know, buy houses, buy yachts, buy boats. And, uh, you know, my mind kind of just peaked and, and the rest of our team um, that, that I knew and have, have found through this space had a lot of the same ideas I did. And, and uh, that's when Cryptoc just started becoming an idea and, and really started to be pen to paper from there. Mm. How long have you been working on this project in uh, particular? Like months, years? Yeah, this one's about six months in. Um, six months kind of from, you know, the first time we really started to discuss different areas mm -hmm. that we could see this growing and and it really came up as an idea of where in the market do we see gaps <laughs> where in the market do we see areas that aren't being focused on and then what areas are just super saturated that we don't think um you know are really worth entering at the time and that's the same principles i took from you know private equity and venture capital of kind of skate to where the puck's going not not to where it is right now right yeah because i mean you see on uh, at least on Twitter, every every new freaking NFT project is either like a dog, or a monkey, <laughs> yeah. or a cat. You know, so a watch is a llama or an ape, a llama. Or a yeah, camel. not too many. I have, I have not seen any uh, watch themed NFTs. Yeah, they're mostly profile uh, pictures. Yeah, we, so it's we, very we see unique. ourselves right. Yeah. So exactly, exactly. So, and I think. You're looking at cartoon camels or cartoon penguins, or, or they look cool. Um, but for a lot of people in the vast majority of the market, it's really tough to get someone that's going to put in, you know, fairly significant amount of money to go into something that's based off of 
you know, peachy penguins or, or cozy camels or whatever it is. And nothing against those projects. It's just just a little bit of a different niche that we're going after right. and, and different type of group that, that we're looking to focus on. So um, I think you guys hit the nail on the head there. Yeah, and you spoke about uh, finding your, your target audience. Uh, who would you say that is and and how are they different yeah, from so the normal target... profile pick uh, crowd there? Yeah, um, our target audience is someone that understands how assets appreciate over time. Mm-hmm. It's watch collectors, it's uh, car collectors, it's people who enjoy real estate, it's people that invest in crypto who um, are looking to increase their financial literacy, people that are really, I, I would say, uh, inquisitive and curious about <clears throat> kind of you know where the investment market is going to be going. And then we've also found... Recently, you know, sometimes you think your market is X, and then it, it really it, it's X plus Y. Right. We found a lot of the NFT community said, you know, we're really interested in the metaverse and where this is going, and, and we paid a lot of attention to these these PFPs, these, these profile picture projects, um, and we really like your kind of forward thinking ideas that you guys have, and, and, and where we think the market's going. And, and I haven't found too many people that that have said, you know, your guys' watches suck. We have no interest <laughs> in this. They've said. These, some of these watches are, are really neat. We really like the utility that you guys are tying to it. Tell me more. So it might not be the project for every single person, but I think for that large group of people that we're bringing into this space, I, I, I think it's really interesting. And we're really trying to bridge that gap between the individuals who you know know and love the, the physical luxury assets that I mentioned, mm-hmm. watches, cars, and boats, with people who know and love you know digital assets being NFTs and and kind of bringing those two communities together, we just thought of it as a massive idea, and, and we think it's it's really coming together. And, and, and hopefully, on on our mint date here here Sunday twelve twelve, um, we'll be able to see you know all that work uh, come to fruition. Yeah, and you know, looking at your uh, website here, there's only twenty four hundred of them that are going to be available for mint. So again, it's not for everyone, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I think you know. It's funny how these little decisions took us so much time, mm-hmm. and every decision that we made around the mint is really, um, really something we thought about. Twenty four hundred, for example, it brings in scarcity. Yep. Just like with high end Rolex watches, what makes them so great is that not everyone can have one. Not everyone does have one. The other pieces, it might be a little corny, but this is the NFT mm-hmm. space. There's twenty four hours in a day. Mm-hmm. We wanted to have twenty four hundred watches. And to your last piece, Scott. Um, we were told, you know, you guys can sell 4,800, you guys can sell 7,200. It's still, you know, multiples of 24. Right. And we said, yeah, that's fine, but, but for the community that we're building right now, just the simple dynamics of supply and demand, if we only have 2,400 and you're able to, to mint one, we feel really confident that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, see that investment increase uh, just because of that supply and demand and, and really building that, that scarcity that, that we brought over from the physical luxury asset space in, in, into this world. Yeah, and the watches—they're—they're uh, they're very visually striking. Um, how much work went into the design of these watches, and how many people were involved with with that? Yeah, it's a really good question, and I think this is kind of where we get, we get we nerd out a little bit. Um, and whatever you've seen so far, I, you know, we're we're, we're filming this on on Tuesday. Um, I think you're only going to get more excited with what we're, what we'll be able to release. Full render is, is pretty much complete. It might be mm-hmm. completed by the time we get off this call. Mm-hmm. So whatever you've seen so far, I, I do want to say I, I think you're going to get really excited this week. Um, so the craftsmanship, the artistry is is really interesting. And I and I, um, I want to bring it back to our two artists. So our artists are global. One of them was born in Siberia. He now lives in Sweden. The other one... Um, is most of the time in Florida, but he, he's all over and he's done some really, really big projects. Um, one of them, William III, um, is a texture artist. He's mm. exquisite in what he does. He's you know one of the best experts that we've seen. We talked to hundreds of artists before we did this mm-hmm. project, and he was our, our first hire. Um, and three days after we actually hired him, um, a large, large project, the Mark Cuban owned company actually reached out to him to try to poach him away, but fortunate that he's not only a good artist, but he's, he's a good guy too. The other one, Gregory, um, from Siberia, he does the hard surface stuff, and their kind of yin and yang has really made this great. So, to give you just a little bit of um, 
and eyes and ears behind how this actually works, there's, there's really two sides of it. Um, there's the craftsmanship, which resembles a lot of what you'd see at like the Rolex factory, where we go in and our team creates and assembles the bezels, the faces, the hours, the bands, mm. and then colors them each individually. Um, and then the other piece is this software called Cinema 4D. Okay. This is what I think is amazing, and maybe that's coming from someone who just sucks at art. <laughs> couldn't get a C in high school art, um, but the film, it, it's almost like a film set. So this is a software, um, like a multi-dimensional software environment. Think of it as 3D on steroids, and it's almost having a full-blown film set within the studio. So if you ever to watch William, our, our C40Rs, during one of his creative sessions, you would see a film camera, a series of set lights, you'd see the, the subject, which in this case is a watch. And then the process starts with the artist handcrafting each watch, putting them in this display, and then really the art coming alive from there. So it is, I don't know if I can swear in the podcast, so I won't, but it's freaking wild. Green light. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty fucking insane what these guys have go. done and, and right with you. And it's, um, it's the only project that is in the NFT space that's, that's done um, the work this in depth and for us we, we kind of said we, we can't cut corners if right. we're going to be marketing ourselves as a luxury brand as um, a Soho house meets Monaco and Metaverse we'll be lying to people if, if we don't put this much work in so it started as a couple days of an idea then it got into a couple weeks now we're on to, to months so this has been probably over four months just to do the art and the art's actually um, it, it's really blown me away so I, I hope you guys agree but I, I do stay tuned this week yeah 100% now. <clears throat> yeah yeah the, yeah the art is great and so you could just show off the art you got the NFT you got the art right you could show that off kind of like the profile pictures right and then with yep. having the art you join the crypto community uh, and if you can go into a little bit more of what what's building this community and what's what what can you expect when you join the crypto community yeah, it's a good question, and I would say um, whoever's in it, you're, you're going to be driving it too. I'll get into that a little bit more, but Kyle, Scott, I don't know if you're going to get one, but um, if you do, you're going to have a role, you're going to have a say, you're going to have voting mm -hmm. rights, you're going to have the ability to actually be one of you know, the early holders, early founders, and early decision makers in what we see of as a brand. So when we talk about... Um, you know, one of our, our, I would call it taglines, but really business visions is Soho House in the physical world meets Monaco in the metaverse. Mm -hmm. So what that means is you have um, access to our events. We have an event right now planned um, for the Super Bowl in LA in February. Um, we were in Miami meeting with a couple groups about having actually events there, both annual, biannual, um, and some, you know, potentially smaller events. So you'll get that. We're giving away a hundred thousand dollar actual physical luxury oh, wow. watch, whether it be Rolex, Richard Milley, mm -hmm. Audemars. We haven't announced um, when that will be, but I will tell you it'll be around a very giving time of the year. <laughs> so it's a little hidden. Right. Um, and then, in addition to that, we're, we're, the individuals that are coming in here, like I mentioned before, are people that that invest, that understand real estate, that understand luxury assets. We're partnering right now with uh, a select group of kind of best in class real estate investors, entrepreneurs. We have someone that uh, retired from Wall Street at 40 years old that wants to work with our community. We have an individual that has um, like a $50 million personal uh, real estate portfolio and manages a billion dollar real estate portfolio that wants to come in and work with our team to potentially, uh, you know, group together some of our money and, and do a real estate investment trust. There's a lot of opportunities that we want to do, and I, I don't want to give too much away because there's going to be full governance in the community as well. We're going to have people with actual roles, whether it be a vice mayor, um, a treasurer, a director of FUD, um, <laughs> and, and, and the idea of that is um, this is this is a, an NFT collection, this is a watch, but more than all of those things, this is a membership club. So think of getting into... Uh, you know, an Augusta National or, or a similar group like that. The way the NFT collections are now, it's art on one side, and then on the other side, it's transforming how we think of country clubs and societies and, and, and member member groups as well. Right. So 
we um, we're excited. Yeah, that's super exciting. I love that idea of the the country club aspect yeah, of yeah. joining an exclusive club. Yep. And I think even at the country club, you know, there are roles and positions. And the way we can do it this way uh, with, with the country club and, and saying, Kyle, what, what, where do you want to go? Do you want? Do we want to do Tahoe? Or do we want to do Miami? Or do we want to have a real estate group? Or do we want to have a financial partner? And we've, to be candid, I've had rappers I grew up listening to, athletes that I watch play on TV, porn stars <laughs> DM us recently. I didn't expect my DMs to ever have that many porn stars in them, but the fact of the matter is we're, we're being really selective on what, what we're bringing into mm-hmm. the group, what we're bringing into Cryptoc, and who we're aligning mm. with, because we, we want to be focused on our niche, and I think a lot of what we've seen in the space is kind of just marketing, marketing, promotion, promotion, um, but we don't really want to get out of our lane, and, and our lane is, is, is pretty clear on who we're focused on, and and that's you know the individuals that are in our Discord. That's that's our community. And that's our team in in, in in the luxury asset space. So I hope that remains, and um, we'll we'll see how the DMs go. But but so far that that's where we're at right now. Love awesome. it. And you spoke earlier about uh, the the whole metaverse aspect of where where the NFTs are going. Um, are you guys planning on like an interactive world to go along with the watches? Yeah, so if you had seen our um, our first kind of town halls to a smaller group, we gave everyone a preview of what that was going to look like. There was an individual who opened the door. He walked out and kind of came into this this uh, field, you could say, um, and in that field was a tree, and that tree was basically to say that, you know, we are just planting the seeds mm. and construction has started. But one interesting piece was he looked to his left and then looked down and on his watch, on his, on his wrist – was a watch, and that was a Cryptox. So we are um, we are planning that. We have a lot of really neat ideas. One of our uh, mint rewards is actually if you buy, I believe it's if you buy 12, um, you get entered to have a street named after you in the metaverse, in, in our mm-hmm. city. Um, so if you want to have, you know, Miller Way or... Um, whatever it might be, you, you, you can potentially win that. And I, and I think that's really interesting. And, and, and the, the reason I'm so excited about the community is in the metaverse, I think everyone's very excited about Facebook. Everyone's excited about Adidas, Nike, whomever they might be. And I think some of our team is too. But but for me, I like the people in our Discord. I like the guys that I talk to about watches and, and the girls that I talk to about boats and cars and things like that. I like our community. I want us to run it. I want us to build it. And I want... Um, us to be responsible for um, for all the good things that comes from it. So I, I'm not as as um, excited for these big corporations building something. I'm excited for being a part of a, a select group of people that that really understand each other, really working hard, and, and and bust our asses to make this the absolute best thing. The other idea of ours is it's more of a it's more of a getaway. It's more of a luxury. It's more of a uh, Monaco in the metaverse. Mm. It's not New York City or Chicago. It's a little bit different. And all those places are great, but sometimes you like to take a vacation. Sometimes you like to be in the south of France. So right. That's more of our style and feel, and it's, it's a little bit different than what we've seen. And, and I think it goes with the luxury watch, the boat, the real estate <laughs> investors, and and, and and that's why we, we, we designed it that way. Yeah, and I think you're, I think you're completely right. People don't want the the Facebooks and all them taking over the metaverse. Right. And we've seen that in our community here uh, with our podcast. We've seen some backlash when uh, Facebook changed to meta. Yeah, uh, p- People were pissed. Yep. Uh, yep. Nobody wants that this market to be taken over by the big corporations. They just don't. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. And it's not even against them, but I've seen what they've done. I, I don't I've been on Facebook. Right. I've been in, in a Nike store. It's great, but but I'm looking for something new, and I think this new frontier that is the metaverse has a lot of opportunity, and I, and I think the opportunity is about, let, let's pay the person who makes the watches, let's pay the artist who makes the art, let's mm. pay the shoemaker who makes the shoes, and kind of all get you know wealthy that way, and, and, and give um, the money back to the person who, who deserves it, and I think in our case, it's, it's really building that community and, and kind of having our niche to, to go where we want to go. Um, and do what we want to do, and that's that's what we're excited for. Yeah, and it, it's very exciting. Um, is there anything else you want potential collectors to uh, know? I know you you said you, if you buy twelve uh, on mint, you get a uh, street. How how many can you buy? 
So you can buy our max is twelve, and, and the reason for that is um, we have a lot of individuals who have worked with some projects that we've been involved in the past and said, you know, hey, um, can can we buy you know five, ten, twenty ETH worth? We'd really like to come in. Um, and we said, listen, you know, we're building. It's, it's more. This is more than just an investment. This is a community. This is a society. Like I've said, so we don't want to go more than twelve. On the other hand, um, we have to, you know, kind of understand that there's people that do want to come in for an ETH or an ETH and a half. But we want to get pretty close to that twenty four hundred number. So the typical NFT collection is kind of two to one. So if your collection is twenty four hundred, you want to expect around a thousand members. Um, so the max you can get is twelve. And uh, on the whitelist, um, max right now is, is one. So if you get whitelisted, you can get one, and then on the Sunday, you can buy 11 more. And can you let the people know, how, how do you get whitelisted? Yeah, so there's a couple ways to get whitelisted, and the easiest way is to go into Discord, be very active, go into our page and, and look at how to get whitelisted. If you're very active, we've been um, very selective, but for, for individuals that are really excited about the project, have, have brought us some, some partnerships and and been able to be um, helpful to the other members in the group. Get into that Discord, get whitelisted, guarantee a spot. Um, we're confident that Sunday is going to be a busy day for for Cryptoc. That's that's our mint date, as I mentioned before. But the easiest way to at least get one is to get whitelisted and, and mm. hop into our Discord, and we'll provide a um, a, a, a link to that as well. Awesome. Yeah, and um, where where can people where can people find you guys uh, on? Yeah, you can find us in, in Monaco, the Metaverse. You can also find us in, uh, I'll get our Twitter. Uh, it's Cryptoc underscore NFT. Instagram, Cryptoc underscore NFT. And then Discord is the, is the really biggest place. I think um, for a lot of individuals just getting into the NFT space, uh, a lot of, you know, the crypto space is more Telegram. Yeah. And then obviously Instagram and, and, and Twitter are, are still big. But, but our Discord is the number one place if you want to learn get information, educate yourself about NFTs, hop into our Discord. We're happy to answer any question, whether it be about watches, the metaverse, NFTs, gambling, doesn't matter. We're, we're in there. Yeah, and I'm looking on your website right now, cryptoc.io. Uh, there is a big old join Discord button there. So we'll, uh, we'll throw... Cryptoc.io, of, of course. So um, we launched the website in the last couple of weeks. Top right of it says join Discord. and mm-hmm. Click that and you'll be right in. And, and we're, we're happy to... Uh, um, the community's buzzing right now. We're, we're excited. There's a lot of activity in our Discord, and um, they're excited to bring new people in there too. So, so hop right in. All right, awesome. yeah, super excited Kyle, about you the got project. Uh, no, if if you have anything else you want them to know, now's the time. No, I, I'm I'm excited. The only thing I, I would say to you is if if this is your first NFT, um, that I think that's pretty commonplace for what we're seeing. A lot of people. Um, you know, are, are coming over from the watch community, are coming over from other places, and are a little bit nervous about the NFT space. I, I think this is a great place for for first time NFT buyers and also for the avid collector. So um, we're excited again, guys. I, I appreciate it, and uh, we're excited for Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So are we? Awesome. We'll we'll be on there. Thanks so much for hanging out. Great. Yeah. All right. Thanks, boys. See you later.